I'm Brian Manning. I'm a tailor in the West End. I'm at least the third, I think possibly the fifth generation of my family as tailors. Last year, I went to Dublin and found a shop that my great-grandfather used to run as a tailor shop a long while ago. So I have a long history in the trade. My family has a long history in the trade. All the tailors know this picture because it hung upside the Taylor and Cutter Academy in Soho for years. But it was quite high up and you couldn't see it that clearly, like a pub sign more or less. It's interesting to see the way the sleeves are done and the fullness in the sleeve with the tight cuff allowing him to move. I, I like to see the, uh, the, the slashed hose here, which is very interesting. And when you look at his face, he's got really assessing eyes. He's really looking at someone. And tailors have to look at their clients. You have to look and assess the body in order to be, able to be able to cut the garment to fit you. It's a committed look, isn't it? Standing here, I feel he's looking very closely at me, judging how well I've cut my suit. It's interesting to see his, his, his marks on the cloth here, because you can sort of see he still uses the same technique as we do. It's obviously been chalked. We still use chalk. His shears are very much like my shears. Virtually nothing has changed from, from that point of view. So it's very interesting. I always thought we were a lot stiffer than this. I always thought of these garments as being quite heavily tailored with lots of underlayings. But you can see from the folds here that in fact it's quite soft. It was far more comfortable to wear than you would think of when you, when you look at it. Also, even though it's very tight and the buttons are very close together, there's no obvious signs of pulling into the buttons. So it's a very nicely cut garment. He looks confident like a master of his trade. Yes, I think he looks if I went to buy a suit from him, I'd feel very confident it would work. If he came back here today, he could walk into this workshop, he would recognise all the, the tools, he would recognise this, he would recognise this, he would recognise this. He could be sewing again within a couple of weeks. He would soon learn the sewing machine. He could just walk straight back in. Craft trades, very few things change. The actual way of doing it hasn't changed in all this time. It's really exciting to see a, a close-up of such a well-drawn garment. So you can see how it's made. It's very, very interesting. I really enjoyed it.